Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for August 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make a big old shout out to the Leos out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. We are in Leo season right now. And I want to make a big old shout out to the August Virgos out there. Yeah, happy birthday to you guys as well. So I am back to my old format. Um, I have one central intro that I have recorded for everybody that everybody's going to see the same old thing and then we'll get into the reading yes so you will find a timestamp in the comments section that's pinned at the very top that will take you to the beginning of the actual reading so if you're watching multiple videos and you don't want to watch the intro over and over again you can use that timestamp I do recommend that you watch it at least once just so that you can get the general information may clear up some questions you may have yeah so I would love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. You can find the links to my, my social media accounts, both Instagram and Facebook, in the description box below. But Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. And Facebook is facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. Yes, which is very similar to my actual email address. All right. These are a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. So just read through that and then hit me up. Let me know which reading you would like. If you can't decide if, or if you have trouble, go ahead and email me anyway and describe the situation a little bit and I will absolutely help you choose. Yeah. If you would like to get a, a personal reading, um, I do recommend that you reach out either via email or at the very least through Instagram. Um, I don't recommend that you send me a message on Facebook because I do not always get those right away. I, I've noticed that I, oh, first of all, I don't get a notification from Facebook saying that I have um, messages on that page. Um, so often when I find them, it's like, maybe sometimes days later. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for those of you that kind of missed out or got lost or something, I apologize for that. But Facebook isn't the best way to reach out to me. You can reach out on Instagram. I do get those notifications and I do see that. I, I do check that more often. But ultimately, I'm really just going to send you to email. All right. So you might as well just, you know, cut the extra steps and just email me. Okay. Because that's really where I handle all of the personal readings. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So yes, this is a message coming through that's dated for August of 2019, but it does not have to resonate now. We could be talking about a situation that happened months prior, or we could talk about something that could be coming on months in advance. I do recommend that maybe you check in maybe at the, at the end of the month if you are catching this towards the beginning of the month to see if it resonates for you. But either way, or to see how it resonates for you, but either way, whenever you watch the video and it resonates at that time, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless of the date. Also, keep in mind that for the cross watchers out there, I am speaking directly to the zodiac sign in question, okay? But if you're watching the reading and it's resonating for you, then take that message. Okay. So what I may be saying for the Zodiac sign in question, let's say Aries or Leo, and you don't have that placement or you're not looking at it because you have Aries or Leo in your chart. And yet what I'm saying is resonating for you. Then maybe that message is in fact for the cross watcher and not the actual Zodiac sign in question. Again, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates, but also please do not try to fit something into your life or into the, the situation that doesn't fit already. Like if you're watching and you're saying to yourself, Hmm, he's saying this, but that really doesn't resonate with my situation. Then let it go. Don't take it. Okay. Cause that means it's just not a message for you again general reading yeah okay um i guess that's it so with that said why don't we get started to, with the reading yeah <laughs> hey there scorpio welcome to your reading for august 2019 thank you so much for tuning in yeah so let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here you have the ace of wands the magician and the star uh with that you have the the three of cups underneath the deck all right the three of cups interestingly enough, is feeling like some sort of graduation energies or um, something like that. Like maybe, you know, you're graduating from some sort of college course or some sort of training course or something. Uh, 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 maybe, you know, you finished your undergrad and now you're moving forward there or, or something like that. I, I just feel it was strange. 
that may not be for many of you. I mean, that may be just for a select number, a small number of you, but that was an energy that I was getting with the Three of Cups here, graduation specifically. But either way, this is a celebration. For some of you, this could be the balance between body, mind, and spirit. Um, you know, set different parts of yourself coming in, coming together to work in one cohesive um, unit as one cohesive unit. It could be a number of people like friends getting together to start some sort of uh, creative venture here. You do have the Ace of Wands. Okay. Um, and I, there, so there's definitely some sort of creative inspiration here, uh, starting a new project. Um, for the most part, though, what I'm getting with this, the magician, the magician, the star, and the Ace of Wands is you literally taking action in terms of what your dreams may be, okay? Um, uh, you're, you have your sights set on, you know, your ultimate, I don't know, fulfillment or whatnot. And, and, you're, and I really feel strongly that you're taking action in this direction, and that's a really, really great thing. Following your dreams, chasing your dreams, you know, for some of you, this is a situation in which you're not holding back anymore. You're not waiting anymore. You're going for it with gusto. Now, you may not know exactly how to go about this, exactly how to accomplish this um, with the star, but that doesn't matter because all that really matters right now is that you get started. Okay. Um, the, the, the magician, with the energies of the magician here, you really may, you mean, you may not know exactly how to get there, but you do know how to handle it. You are equipped to handle whatever would come up, whatever obstacle may stand in your way or whatnot, whatever, in order for you to achieve this goal, this victory here. For some of you, this may be a relationship. Um, you're man you could be manifesting a relationship into your life, or maybe you have found a partner um, you know, you manifested a partner into your life that's really bringing some really wonderful celebration to you. Um, you know, you're feeling very proud of yourself. You're feeling very excited, very happy, very joyous, abundant even in this. That's really beautiful, Scorpio. All right. So that's your pre-shuffle here. Let's see what else we've got for you for the month of August. Ooh, the star just came back out again. So it, look, uh, really what I'm getting with the star here is spirit saying if in fact you have some sort of dream, a dream job, a dream career, a creative project, even if it's even if it's just if it's just like a hobby or something, if you have something that you've been dreaming of doing, some sort of wish fulfillment or something, go for it. Go after it. Start doing it. Start taking the steps. Follow your heart. Follow your intuition. Follow your dreams. Yes? All right. Here we go. But also that star could really just mean a, a definite confirmation, and especially in the fact that it came out like twice. It fell out like twice. Wish fulfillment is definitely here for some of you. Yeah? Uh, but also the other message is just to chase them, to go after your dreams. Don't stop now. Don't hold yourself back. Go for it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, five shuffles for you, and we'll see what we've got for your month of August here. That's one for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. That's two. This is three. Four. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019 and 5. Now, Scorpio, I am seeing blue for you. Um, I do tend, I mean, blue to me is like a kind of like a, a, a the color of like water or something. You know, it reminds me of water. Boop. Um, 
And it's interesting. It's it, the feeling that I get mostly from this blue color is creative expression, not just expression, but creative expression. Okay, which really falls in line with what um, you know was coming forward in the pre-shuffle with that Ace of Wands here. Okay, so overall energy, we're starting you out with Ten of Wands. Now. This actually does kind of feel like it fits with the rest of whatever was going on in the, um, the pre-shuffle because there's, there's something about needing to let go of some sort of burdens. Actually, this burden for some of you could be the fact that you're not going after this whatever creative venture you may be inspired towards. Now, for others of you, this could be you just have so many responsibilities that you feel burdened that you don't feel like you really have the time to go after what it is you truly want, whatever it is you truly desire. And in that case, then you really need to narrow it down. And I kind of feel like I want to say you have to let go of nine of these wands so that you can just have that ace of wands. You can just focus on that ace of wands that came out in the pre-shuffle. Now, how practical that is, I'm not sure. You know, everybody's situation is different. But even if it's not whittling it down to just one wand, I mean, I'm sure you could let go of at least a few of these wands here, okay? The biggest thing that I'm getting with the Ten of Wands for you, Scorpio, is that um, you're burdened by the fact that you haven't in some way pursued a creative project or something like that that you've been desiring to for quite a long time. And it's almost as if time keeps going by and the more time goes by, the more burdened, the more burdened some the more bur burdensome this becomes because there's a lack of faith in starting the project in some way okay and it's just piling on more and more and more the anxiety the fear the the trepidation towards moving forward with this it just keeps piling on the longer time goes without you doing it actually taking action here okay underneath the ten of wands you have the four of wands can't pick that up. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing under there. Okay, you have the Four of Wands. All right. Underneath the Four of Wands, you have the King of Wands. And then finally, the Page of Wands. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So there's definitely a brand new start in a creative project here. All right. Um, with the Four of Wands, I do feel like for those of you who are struggling with getting started not feeling confident enough i really do feel like this four of wands energy here is saying to you you have what it takes to get going all right and especially with what i was saying with the star and the magician earlier you don't necessarily need to have every single step mapped out you don't have to think of every single possible scenario all you really need to do is get started, all right? Because with that magician energy, you have the ability to, to, to create that which you desire. And there are, you can always learn to a certain extent um, as you go. What I feel like here is you have, what the Four of Wands is saying is you have that solid foundation within yourself and that really, to, in order to, keep, to get started. And that really could be, you know, you have the solid creative foundation to get moving, all right? King of Wands here is an energy of knowing exactly what you want and going after it, but also being able to bide your time. Okay, that's fine. I do feel like this is you, Scorpio. Now, this uh, the other thing with this King of Wands here is he would be able to pinpoint exactly what it is that would be stopping him or holding him back from moving forward with this Ten of Wands energy, all right? Um, and then finally, you have the Page of Wands. So there's definitely some sort of creative situation going on here. You have all of these wands. The, create, the, the, the Page of Wands can either be a messenger, all right, or it can be starting a new creative project, or it can be um, rediscovering yourself. For some of you, you may be redefining yourselves as an artist. That's pretty cool. Sh uh, changing up your image a bit here or there. Okay, I like that. Let's go on. Let's move on, Scorpio. Let's see what else we have for you here. First half, second half of your reading. You can look at it as first half, second half of your month, whichever resonates more with you. Just keep in mind that energies are fluid and time is an illusion. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. In the first half of your reading here, you have 
the six of pentacles. Okay. A balance between give and take. This is definitely an energy of wanting to give back to your community, um, wanting to provide some, some sort of service to your community. Maybe you want to start a business, start a creative business for, uh, ooh, specifically for children I'm picking up, um, or youth, teenagers, um, a place where they can creatively express themselves or just, you know, uh, learn new things, have a place to, that's very interesting. That's great. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, this definitely feels like an energy of you wanting to give back. And that could be what's influencing your creative drive in this moment, okay? Six of Pentacles is coupled with the Seven of Wands. Very interesting. Um, I, I'm just getting, an, I'm really getting an energy of wanting to give back to the community and maybe even wanting to create a safe space for community members, whether that be children, young adults, teenagers, adults, people of, an, of, a, of a, you know, uh, elders, something like that. Now, you also could be very protective of this creative project, which would make perfect sense. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, you have the Hermit, Virgo energy. All right. Um, so what I'm getting with this is, you know, this is influenced from a deep sense of soul searching. Or I'm sorry, influenced by a deep sense of soul searching. You really may have been going through a lot of inner work, finding your own inner light, which may have really inspired you to start this new passion project. Now, this could be a spiritual venture, okay? This doesn't necessarily have to be just creatively like an artist or something like that. Um, because the wands, yes, wands do, does, can rep does represent creativity, but it also represents spirituality, okay? And especially with what I was picking up with the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands of wanting to, it's almost like you, someone wants to create a community center here and their own soul searching, their own inner, inner self work is what is helping influence this, okay? The hermit is coupled with the devil. Wow, I just heard facing your fears. You literally faced your fears in this situation. You went through the darkest of nights. You went deep down into yourself and you faced the, de the devil within and you liberated yourself. And now it seems from what I'm getting here that at least some of you may be wanting to um, help others do the same. Wow. It's also Capricorn energy. Now, for some of you, this is what you need to be doing. I'm picking up here. There's some sort of attachment, maybe some sort of codependency that you're needing, I'm hearing, that you're needing to escape from. For some of you, that's for a select few of you. For others of you, this is facing the devil within, having faced the devil within, all right? which is a great energy. And it's and what I'm hearing is that it's leading you to a sense of being a leader, a sense of, yeah, being some sort of community leader in a way. Wow, okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Scorpio. The Three of Pentacles, all right. Building, getting together, teamwork, actually putting the plan into action. Actually, uh, the challenge here for some of you is finding team, or, or, is finding team members in this situation. Finding people that, you know, share a vision with you and are really willing to and ready to build this. I am I'm hearing a community center. Somebody wants to create a community center. That's really awesome. Three of Pentacles is coupled with the Empress. Ooh, okay. So this is a challenge, but also in your advice, there is advice here. Um because I feel like there's some difficulty happening. They're coming through with this. Either you're having difficulty fleshing this team status out, like fleshing these team members out, or um, you're, you may be running into it. I feel like there's trouble. Well, it's in the challenge section also, but um, 
the, 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 I guess the advice here is to maintain your abundance here. I just, I feel like something could take, it might take a little longer than you expected or maybe a little longer than you had wanted it to take in order to build this team aspect to this creative venture. But you have to keep the faith in the abundance of the universe. Whatever, whatever challenges you come up against, Scorpio, just keep your, keep, keep your faith in your abundance, okay? Okay. Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Scorpio. In the first half of your reading, you've got the Page of Pentacles. All right, so this could be someone coming in to offer assistance, all right? Um, I may, maybe even assistance financially is something I'm picking up specifically, which is an interesting thing to come through as the page of pentacles. So it may not be too much of a financial, um, I, cause I also did hear a financial windfall. You may get some sort of financial aid that's going to help you get the ball rolling, get things started. Now, okay, also with the challenge here, the three of pentacles might be um, investors. And especially with the Empress here, I really feel like even if, whether you have a, a difficult time finding these individuals or not, I feel like it's really going to come through and it's going to be very, very good, very beneficial. You may end up being able to find some sort of investors or someone that really helped nurture the project. That really kind of feel that maybe as passionate about the project itself or the direction that you're moving in as you do. Okay. But that's kind of what I'm picking up here with the on with the ace of, with not the ace the, the page of pentacles. Moving forward, getting the ball rolling, getting started, okay? Even breaking ground on the situation. Yes. Page of pentacles is coupled with oh, the 5 of pentacles. That's really interesting. Why the 5 of pentacles though? Yeah, spirit is saying this is reassurance. You might have been dealing with this for a long time, but something, or you might, you might deal with, you know, trying to find investors or whatnot, whatever, for a long time. And it might feel hopeless, but I really don't think it is. This is like a continued message from the Three of Pentacles and the, and the Empress here. Don't allow yourself to fall into feelings of inadequacy, okay? You're going to get the support that you need for this. <laughs> Whatever this is for you, you're going to get the support that you need. That's what I'm hearing. All right? So have faith and trust, and don't let the devil get you down. All right? There may be some naysayers around you. That's entirely possible, but you need to continue to follow your own inner light here, Scorpio. Okay? All right, getting into your second half, the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Nine of Swords. Yep. Okay, well, look, don't stress yourself out, Scorp. It's not going to help you, okay? So what I'm also getting, going back up to the Ten of Wands at the beginning of your reading here, this might feel, this might be a situation in which you're, ex you're starting to realize how much this takes or how much it's going to take in order to really flesh this out. But keep in mind, Scorpio, that you have the foundation already, Four of Wands, okay? But then here you have the Nine of Swords in the second half of the reading. This could be the second half of your month. Um, you know, you were, maybe you started breaking ground on your project, whether you're actually breaking ground or whether you're just starting to take the first steps. And now you come to a point where it's like, oh my God, this is overwhelming. How do I ever do this? Keep in mind that that magician came through in the beginning of the reading saying, you can, you can do this. No matter what the obstacles are, you can do this. All right? Especially if you're in an energy of having work, been doing a lot of inner work and trying to find your own inner light here with the hermit, if this is something that has been divinely inspired, or if this is something that's been inspired by the divine, by your inner self, blah, blah, whatnot, whatever, then you absolutely have the means to do it, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of how difficult it may seem or it may actually be in the physical process of it, okay? Nine of Swords is coupled with the Queen of Wands. I told you, 
You can do this. Now you've got the king and the queen of wands. All right? That's balance between masculine and feminine. Keep in mind, Scorpio, that what you would need to do in times of high stress, in times where there isn't really any action that you that would be beneficial to take at the moment, sometimes you need to just fall back and allow things to gravitate towards you, allow it to come to you. But keep in mind, Scorpio, that the only way it's gonna come to you is if you maintain the alignment of that which you want and you don't give in to the fears and the anxieties and start thinking about all the worst case scenarios, okay? Because that's only gonna change, shift your vibration and then you're just gonna get more of what you're fearing. Instead, stay confident in yourself and allow the universe to really help you by bringing in what it by by bringing in towards you what it is you are in alignment with maintain that alignment maintain that attractive energies okay those attractive energies okay second set of surrounding energies for you scorpio you have the nine of wands okay perseverance i and it's funny because i am kind of feeling like this is like not necessarily just well this is kind of like a, a I want to say almost second half of the month or like a, the, 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 the second half of this phase of getting started in this, this project, okay? Because I, I just feel like, you know, you've got the ball rolling, you got started here, but now you're starting to face the issues, face the troubles, the challenges. And I mean, that's, there's going to be a challenge in anything, you know what I mean? But like here, this just feels, it just feels like you've gotten started and now all of a sudden you're running into the roadblocks, but you need to just persevere. Keep going. Do not quit. Okay. Nine of wands is coupled with the three of cups. There's that three of cups again. All right. So look, Scorpio, don't quit. Don't give up. You will be successful. And if you find yourself in a in a space where you know you're going through a really tough challenge you will overcome there will be a rest there will be relief it's going to work out for the best okay okay your challenge in the second half of your reading here you've got the six of wands interesting it's interesting for the six of wands to be in the challenge the six of wands is all about victory success achievement recognition The challenge is to get here. Okay. I just feel like you're gonna, I feel like you could get there. Six of Wands is coupled with the Page of Swords. Oh. Okay. You might have some, yeah, you really might have some naysayers. All right. The Six of Wands is an energy of, yes, you know, taking a victory lap, having succeeded in whatever it is you want you, you set out to do and whatnot, whatever. But also, there's a cautionary tale in the Six of Wands in not getting too big for your britches or not allowing yourself to be too full of yourself because someone could come down and just knock you right off that horse, right? Knock you right off your high horse. And I don't think that's what you would be doing, but I think this is confirmation here that there could be some people out there that are trying to sabotage you. Page of Swords. That are looking for a way to cut you down, maybe. All right? Don't let that happen. Stay humble, Scorpio, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading here, Scorpio. You've got the Two of Pentacles. So I do, okay, so no matter whatever challenges you face in this, I really do feel like you're going to be able to keep everything balanced. You're going to be able to hold it together. You're going to be able to do this. Okay, Two of Pentacles is coupled with the Three of Wands, you see? The Three of Wands is being on the path, is waiting for a return on an investment. But for me also, it's about having made the choice and now following through with that choice and continuing to genuate, gen, genuate, <laughs> what is that? To genu generate, excuse me, generate the um, momentum towards what it is you are after, what it is your goal is, okay? Um, Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a balancing act. I'm also getting a degree of time. There's, it's, this is not, a, this, what I'm picking up here, like with this two of pentacles and the three of wands, it's not an overnight success. 
nor is it an easy success. And to be quite honest, I don't really think that's what you would want anyway. Or at least that's not, wouldn't be appropriate for this situation somehow. But that's mainly because it's on a deep spiritual level and nothing that is worth doing in like, of like true spiritual um, ambition or whatnot is really gonna be easy, okay? It's not. It's gonna take time, it's gotta take effort, and it's gonna be challenging, but it's worth it in the end, okay? All right, guys, so now, Scorpio, let's get your oracle guidance here for your month of August, 2019. All right, Scorpio. Best message, please, Spirit, for our Scorpios here for their month of August. For their month of August. There it is. Oh, my God. You see, you guys, look at this. Card number three, inspiration. Ah, oh, yes, Scorpio. All right, let's see what this says. Oh, goodness. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Inspiration. An idea has captured your attention or will do so very soon. It may be a grand vision or the vague sense of something that could be. You are being encouraged to accept this vision, the idea or the inspiration, or it is important to your creative and spiritual growth. I'm sorry. As I'm sorry. Let me say that again. You are being encouraged to accept this vision Accept the vision, the idea, or the inspiration as it is important to your creative and spiritual growth. Also, it is possible. The B is bringing you healing medicine wisdom from nature to aid the message of the Oracle of Inspiration. The B is a powerful spirit totem. Bees are able to fly with wings that are significantly small in proportion to their heavier, heavier bodies. They can do so because of the sheer speed with which their wings move. Your idea, even if it seems like a big substantial plan that might be difficult to quote, get off the ground and up and running, can succeed. You will attract great helpers to you and the earth will support the success of the project, idea or vision because it is about helping the greater good as well as your own growth and development. When the Earth Mother lends you nature wisdom to support your healing and growth, you know you have an exceptionally powerful ally to your cause. Let this bring you confidence. If you have also drawn the After the Storm card, consider this message amplified. But we have not drawn that card, so that's okay. <laughs> Allow inspiration to fill you with enthusiasm, enthusiasm and expectation of magic and marvelous synchronicity as people's situations and opportunities fall into place to help bring your inspiration into reality. This idea has the potential to flower into so much more than you realize. It has great potential. It can become something that feeds and nourishes others on their creative and personal healing paths too. It has the quality of a mission and is so much more than one singular idea. When an inspiration comes from the greater creative intelligence of the universe, even when it makes itself known as an idea coming through a human source, all that is needed to bring it into being will be available at the right time. For the human channel of the idea, it is just a matter of being open, receptive, trusting, and enthusiastic about what comes through. Everything required for each step will be naturally attracted to support the success of the project according to divine timing. The healing process below will help you manifest the support needed for your inspiration to take flight. Not going to get into that. This oracle also comes with the message that you are a vehicle for inspiration. You are meant to think and do things differently. You are capable of receiving fresh ideas that are not so, quote, out there or different that they stop being practical, helpful, and wonderful. You are being asked to avoid the trap of doubting your ideas are special or interesting enough. Your inspiration comes direct from the universal creative source and you are being asked to believe and recognize the signature of great intelligence within your inspirational ideas and creative urges and to act accordingly. To sum, this, to sum up, 
This card indicates that sweet success, like abundant honey, is coming your way through your commitment and to commitment to and develop, development of an idea that you have already had or will soon receive. See it through to the end. Be leave. So there you have it, Scorpio. That was an excellent, excellent reading. Please trust yourself, trust your divine, trust in the divine, trust your guides, trust your intuition, but also believe that you can accomplish this, accomplish this because you really absolutely can. The universe is supporting you. The universe is on your side. All right, Scorpio. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of September. Yeah. Take care. Bye.